Good afternoon, good evening, and good morning, wherever you are. Thank you for joining us at this session on how to easily manage and configure teams for frontline workers. I'm Zoe Hotchoff, and part of the Teams product marketing team, and I'm joined here with Prem Kuchi, who's part of our product management team. Today, we're excited to share how we continue to invest in products and processes to help IT pros. The first is about scaling processes across large populations of frontline workers. Then we want to talk about how to configure industry-specific experiences and connect corporate teams through task hierarchy. As we've seen more and more in today's world, frontline workers and the IT teams who support them have proven to be essential workforce behind business continuity during times of crisis, and also in leading the charge to transform the way we work across many industries. They are the reason groceries have stayed open and transformed to accommodate curbside pickup, the reason hospitals have kept running and evolved in-person health consults into virtual ones, and they're the reason manufacturing has continued creating essential products and changed how they run their operations. This has all been possible due to the agility and forward thinking of teams across IT and operations. And we see our frontline workers and IT pros as the heroes of your business. And today we'd like to talk about how teams can be the ultimate sidekick to your heroes. <clears throat> when we reached out to our IT customers to listen and learn about how you're enabling your frontline worker teams, we heard three main pain points. The first was how to deploy and manage frontline workers who are often larger than the rest of the population of the company. How do you create the right policies for the way they work? And then how do you scale them to such a large population? The second is creating an industry-specific environment. How do you create the right workflows, structure, and apps needed to get the job done within your industry while also reducing the time it takes for teams to get up and run? Finally, we heard this need for better connection between corporate teams and frontline workforce. How do you create that connective tissue in the right structure? That way, everyone can stay aligned and execute together. We know you need the right tools to help your team overcome these pain points and keep business going. With Microsoft Teams, we have tools built in to help you overcome the new challenges you face today tools that help everyone scale these policies across your workforces, create industry environments and scenarios, and connect the entire workforce during a time when connection is no longer a nice to have, but an essential. Let's take a quick look at all the tools Teams has for frontline workers, and then I'll hand it off to Prem to dig deeper into how Teams can help with those three pain points. Across many industries, frontline workers are essential to business operations and customer connections. Now more than ever, they keep our businesses and the economy going. In today's new normal, why are they using yesterday's tools? Microsoft Teams is where frontline workers come together to get work done. They can stay connected while being hands-free and heads up to keep work going without interruption. Move schedules off the whiteboard and into employees' hands. From creating team schedules to clocking in, save teams time by enabling them to control their schedules. Connect to workforce management systems so every touch point is in one mobile app. Teams also enables the creation and publication of tasks across workforce locations with straightforward direction on what needs to get done and when. Increase employee engagement by communicating company-wide and letting your workforce share ideas back. Accelerate onboarding and create immersive learning experiences to drive higher engagement and retention. Teams is configurable for frontline workers' needs. Automate line of business processes with low-code, no-code, custom apps, templates, and more. Equip workers with Teams-enabled, industry-specific devices. We have you covered with seamless access and onboarding to the tools workers need, whether on a shared device, a workstation, or an employee's personal device, all while keeping the organization secure. Don't wait for the future with yesterday's tools. Innovate today with Microsoft Teams. Thank you, Zoe. <clears throat> Policies are awesome because policies help you scale your operations 
to all the employees the way you've designed the product. Now, different employees have different roles and they need different set of capabilities within, or within the product. However, there's lots of features in these products and each feature is governed by a set of policies. This means that applying these policies and managing policies is going to take a lot of your time. In order to make it simple, we've come up with policy packages. Policy packages help you package up a bunch of policies together and apply them to specific roles, or if you have subsectors within your organization, to those subsectors as well. While policy packages are awesome, they're they have been limited so far because they're, they've been only first party and limited number of policy packages. In order to customize it to your organization, to the specifics of how you operate, we've come up with custom packages. This means that you can design policy packages ground up the way you want them to. In the admin portal today, I'm going to show you how to create those custom packages and how to assign that to a set of employees at scale. So this could be a group assignment where you can assign it to 1,000, 2,000, 5,000, et cetera, number of employees in about five minutes. So let me, let me show that to you. I will add a new package. I'll create a new custom package. So let's call this Contoso. So retail FLW2, yeah, it turns out I already have one. So policy package, let's start off with messaging policy. I will add retail employees messaging policy. I will add another meeting policy. I don't know how many uh, <clears throat> frontline workers will have specific set of meetings. So like I have designed a meeting policy that is, that is special to retail employees. And now, the app set of policy that I just created, I'm going to do that as well. App policy for retail. Hit save, and I have the Contoso Retail FLW2 package ready and available to deploy at scale. All right. As you can notice, there's a Contoso Retail FLW, and now I'll assign this to my frontline workers. So there's a group package assignment. I'll add a new group called this retail group two. Actually, I already have a retail store. Employees. As you can see, the retail, the Contesto retail FLW package is ready, and it's now we can assign it to a group of employees. So let's go to group pa package assignment. And now I'll add a group for retail store employees. And for this, I'll select a policy package which is the Contoso Retail FLW2 that I just created. It shows one message policy, one meeting policy, and three app policies that are a part of that package. I'll hit apply. And boom, like within a few seconds, the entire group of those employees have this mess, uh, policy package applied. Next, we're going to talk about uh, an easy way to create specific uh, industry environments. Uh, Prime will talk to us a lot about team templates and what we can do with that to ease onboarding and to quickly get teams up and running with the right structure, apps, workflows, and all of that jazz. Off to you, Prem. Very cool. Thanks, Zoe. Teams is the cornerstone of open collaboration within organizations. And team templates help you easily create those teams with the right structure that is relevant to your industry, write applications, workflows, and files, any of the you know, any of the supporting structure that is required to make your collaboration successful. While we've had a 1P templates available for a, a couple of quarters right now, one of the main issues is how do you create the right custom template and manage those templates so that you could, uh, your employees can see the templates that are most relevant to them. And today in our demo, we're going to show you how to create a custom template as well as manage which templates your employees are able to see based on the roles and based on how you assign it from a policy perspective. So <clears throat> let's go to uh, the Teams app. And in this case, I'm going to try and create a new team. And when I hit Create Team button, I see a list of templates available. Some of those things, like Contoso onboarding, are custom templates that have been created specifically by your organization. There are others, which are first party templates here, that says manage an event or adopt Office 365, et cetera. Now, let's say there's something called organize a store. In this example, like we have three channels, which is like general, a shift handoff channel, a learning channel, and two apps, which are tasks and wiki. Wiki possibly to, be, to, pre, uh, to disseminate information and knowledge, and tasks in order to, to assign and manage tasks as well. 
Now, while 1P templates are good to get started, they are not customized to your organization. So let's figure out how you, as an IT admin, a tenant admin, are able to create a custom template that is relevant to your organization. For that, we again go back to our team admin center. So on the left, you see within Teams, there's a team templates tab. And you go to team templates tab, you will see a list of all the templates that are currently available within your organization. All the things that you saw before about managing a project, manage event, there's a first party, which are Microsoft produced templates, as well as things like Contoso, onboarding, which is something that your organization has created. Now let's create a new custom template. You hit add, you have three options. You can create a brand new template from scratch. You could use an existing team and templatize it, or you can start with an existing template and extend it. Now in this case, let's actually use an existing team as a template. I'll hit next. I see these are all the different teams that are available to me today within, uh, within my tenant. I'll hit Contoso, hit Next. Let me put, uh, I'll call this Onboarding, FLW. So I'm gonna create a new template to onboard my frontline workers. I create a, st a short template description and select the locale. This one has only like one general channel and some SharePoint pages uh, with a few different apps about OneNote, List, et cetera. So let's actually go ahead and beef this up a little bit more. Let me add a fun channel <laughs> where people can share, share fun stuff and memes. Right, I'll hit apply. I'll also add a hellos and goodbye channel. And I can move those things around for the moment. I'm, uh, for the uh, sake of demonstration, I'm going to add uh, another app. <clears throat> Approvals. And I'll also remove Power BI because it's not needed. I'm also going to remove uh, forms. So I'm going to delete those apps. So I've customized it to an extent. And I hit submit. So as soon as I do this, a new template called Contoso Onboarding for FLW is created. So there you go, that's a new template and within 24 hours, everybody in your organization who has the permissions to create a new team from, uh, from the Teams app are able to use that template to, to create those teams. Now, the visibility of each of these templates could be managed by you as a tenant admin. In order to do that, you go to template policies and then you look at various different policies that are controlling visibility of these templates. For example, in my R&D policies, there are nine viewable templates. In the pharma division, there are 14 viewable templates. Now let's say you wanna create a new policy that you wanna to assign to your retail employees uh, or your FLW employees. With uh, only two or three of these templates being visible, you can do that as well. It's, it's as simple as going through a series of steps within uh, this workflow. You add in your template policies. Let me call that retail FLW policy. And then I just need to select which ones to hide. All of these different templates are available today. And what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna hide uh, things like medical imaging, manage project, etc. cetera. Um, manage an event and adopt Office 365, I hide them. So you'll see all these templates that are visible here and all these templates that are hidden. And once I do that, I hit save. So a new policy is created and the next step, I assign this policy to a group of employees. So as you can see, Zoe, it is quite simple for tenant admins to manage the visibility of team templates to users based on their role, what they do and what they need to do as well. That's super important too, because every frontline worker has a different role to do within the industry. And all of those are very specific in order to make sure that what you're giving them is useful for them and not distracting them and exactly what they need to do their job, no matter what industry they're in. Yeah.
The last thing we're going to talk to you all about is that connective tissue between corporate teams and frontline workers. We know that it's no longer a nice to have to be able to communicate and connect with frontline workers to better align on execution and really where the organization is going. And so today, Prem is going to do one last deep dive in our task hierarchy in task publishing in teams and walk us through what exactly needs to be done to create the right organizational structure for that corporate to frontline communication connection. As Zoe mentioned, corporate, uh, connecting corporate teams to the frontline workers is super important, and it's especially important when it comes to tasks. Tasks can be planned centrally, they're managed regionally, and they're executed locally. In those cases, not only it's important for you to like, create those tasks and execute them, but also it's important on the hierarchy with which they're passed on. Take an example of this retail store. The recall communication and the HR teams have permissions to be able to send tasks to any of the stores that exist within the organization. However, the, the East Regional and the West Regional offices, they, sh they are only uh, accountable for the tasks that they send to the stores within their specific region. And at the bottom of this hierarchy are the individual stores where the tasks are executed. In this case, there are New York and Boston store within the Northeast, Miami, New Orleans stores within Southeast Zone, and Seattle and Los Angeles stores within the West Regional Office. So in today's demo, I'm going to show how you as a tenant admin are able to manage this hierarchy and the operations or the communications person is able to assign tasks using this hierarchy to the stores with which they have permissions for. So let's go uh, to PowerShell, our trusted uh, sidekick PowerShell. <laughs> so let's take the example of all the different teams that, uh, that are in my tenant. In this case, I'm going to do a get team. And I see that there are various different teams that are already been built in. In this case, you'll notice that there's uh, this Miami store, uh, New York store, Los Angeles, et cetera. All of these stores with their specific group IDs are available. Now, the hierarchy that we previously showed on the screen, I'm codifying that in a CVS file. Uh, this format of this CVS file is really simple. Like every column that is comma separated will have a target name, the parent name, so that it shows where in the hierarchy this specific team fits, and the team ID. Those are really the only three things that are, uh, that are necessary. If you want to filter it further, you could also add other things like store layout, departments, et cetera, uh, that that, you could, that could help your operations manager to filter and find the right set of stores to assign these tasks. Of course, at the end, I also have a few hashtag ones that talk about fresh foods, frozen, frozen foods, or women's wear, et cetera. And in these, these are purely to bucketize the tasks that are assigned. They have nothing to do with hierarchy, but they help your operations manager bucketize specific set of tasks within your tasks of the to-do app. So let's see like how uh, I can upload this CSV file to codify the, the hierarchy within the team system. Let me clean up any specific hierarchies that are already there uh, in my system. Remove team target hierarchy. And now I'm going to try and set a team target hierarchy. In this case, I'll give a file path and I've already saved the CVS file to a specific location, so I'm going to upload this specific CVS file. And it'll be test1.csv. And the, target, uh, the team target hierarchy is getting uploaded, and now I'll check the status of this. And as long as the status is good, it's still validating. And like once it is successful, I'm able to use it. And now it is successful. So now teams understand the specific hierarchy and uh, who uh, belong to which teams and who can send tasks to other teams. So let's go back to our, cons uh, our Teams app where I will try to assign certain set of tasks. So I'll go to my Tasks app. And here, I have all of my tasks that, uh, that are either published or that I've received. And in this case, let me try to publish a new list. Let's try to publish a list for Memorial Day. I'll call this Memorial Day, Day Changes. And I'm going to publish this to 
my West regional office because I want to send something to both the Los Angeles as well as the Seattle stores. Turns out swimming is a big deal in these areas, especially in Memorial Day. <laughs> <laughs> so let's talk about swimwear cutouts. And I will add the bucket in women's wear. Uh, I will talk about central displays for tubing. And, and now let's assume that these are the only two tasks that your employees need to do in preparations for Memorial Day. You've done it and you need to publish it. As you notice, it shows the permissions that I have in the West Regional Office, both Los Angeles store and Seattle store, I can select one or both of them. In this case, I'll select both of them. I could also pick like which specific departments of clothing, uh, departments are available within those stores that I need to publish to. Let's say if it's only clothing, turns out both Los Angeles and Seattle have clothing. <laughs> and so confirm to proceed, I'll hit publish. And these Memorial Day changes are being published right now. And once they're published, they'll actually sh show up within your teams in both Seattle as well as your, uh, <clears throat> as well as your Los Angeles stores. So let's go to tasks. You'll notice that there is central displays for tubing and swimwear cutouts. Let's say like the employees actually complete this task. They'll hit complete and as a publisher, I could go to my tasks application and see that these things are actually done. So now you see that the swimwear cutouts, that's 50% is done. Let's go check out like why it is 50%. Turns out Seattle store completed their tasks, but Los Angeles store hasn't completed the task. So as a, as a task assigner, I'll send kudos to the Seattle store and I could possibly send a reminder to the Los Angeles store to make sure that they uh, get their task done on time. As you can see, managing tasks, especially in a frontline environment, is super simple and streamlined with these new task publishing capabilities. They help not only manage tasks, but also help engage frontline workers. And now, we hear from our customer, Shadrawi, on how they use task publishing to streamline their store operations. Grupo Chedrawi is a chain of tiendas de autoservicio. Tenemos eh, alrededor de 320 tiendas. Toda la cultura de Chedrago siempre es trabajar en equipo, no nada más estar en, una sola, en un solo departamento o en un solo lugar. Todos permean y viven los valores fundamentales de la compañía y esto se refleja en el excelente servicio y en la búsqueda de satisfacer siempre las necesidades de nuestros clientes. Teníamos un gran reto en hacer eh, una integración de las diferentes herramientas de colaboración y mantener una comunicación constante. Finalmente decidimos utilizar Microsoft Teams. Debido a la pandemia tuvimos que hacer una migración eh, expedita, muy acelerada. Lo logramos en dos semanas. Fue un cambio afortunadamente aceptado muy fácilmente por todos nuestros colaboradores debido a que la herramienta es muy intuitiva. Estamos utilizando TASC dentro del de área de productividad de Chedrawi, que es eh, nuestra gente en tiendas. Para nosotros una parte importante y una fuerza laboral muy fuerte y primordial en Chedrawi son los jefes. Subirlos ahora a ellos a que utilizaran Teams con la asignación y el seguimiento de tareas los ha hecho muy productivos, lo hacen ahora desde sus equipos móviles, lo cual reduce considerablemente el tiempo de ejecución y de seguimiento y supervisión en las tareas. Eso nos ayuda a tener las cosas tal como lo pide la dirección. Hay caminatas que se realizan por parte de Teams para hacer el, el, la verificación de los etiquetados, de los acomodos, de los muebles, de las exhibiciones que tenemos hoy en tienda. El impacto de utilizar Microsoft Teams en Chedrawi ha sido eh, la mejora en la colaboración y en la productividad de los diferentes colaboradores, sin importar desde dónde estén trabajando. Esto nos ha llevado y ha contribuido en una gran reducción de costos para la empresa. 
también garantizamos y, y hemos mejorado la seguridad de la información. No nos imaginamos cómo serían nuestras actividades si no contáramos con todas estas herramientas. La verdad es que se han vuelto una herramienta imprescindible y mejoramos nuestras actividades gracias a Microsoft Teams. With Microsoft Teams as a place IT pros and frontline workers come together to get work done, we have tools built in to help an IT pro overcome the new challenges faced today. It's in the same place as the tools needed to help empower your frontline workforce to get the job done. Connecting everyone on a single platform makes the whole organization more effective. Whether it's a C-level executive, somebody on a factory floor, in a retail shop, a hospital, in an IT pro role, or anyone in between. With Teams for your entire workforce, you can experience cost and time benefits across your organization with increased productivity, digitized business processes, and reduced IT effort and device costs in managing the workforces. Want to learn more about innovations happening for frontline workers? Check out these other Ignite sessions like enabling frontline workers with Microsoft Endpoint Manager and introducing Microsoft Cloud for Retail. And want to go deeper on features we talked about today and even more around bring your own device management? Check out our Mechanic Show and the IT Interactive Guide. And finally, don't forget to check out all the other amazing team sessions at Ignite here. And thank you again for taking the time to listen to us about how Microsoft Teams can make it easier to deploy and manage frontline workers and help bring the entire workforce together in one platform.